Barbara in Seattle. Hey, Barbara, what's on your mind today? Well, I just want to say that being har sexually harassed was the only good days of my life. Uh, I worked in the Democratic Party since uh, the 50s because I was an Eleanor Roosevelt Democrat. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's two things that people should read if they want to understand what's been going on. Uh, the ABCs of the American Money System by Representative Wright Patman. I think he's from West Virginia. Yeah, years ago. Yeah. And nobody, you know, it's four pages. And the other thing is the great transportation conspiracy, the only time it was printed in the media. You know what that is? I don't. Uh, Quitney, Harper's, February 1981. And what, what was we the, have here? What was the conspiracy, that, Barbara? What? What was the conspiracy? You just have to read it. Okay. The Great Transportation Conspiracy. It was okay. During the Second World War, the um, uh, president uh, had to get the co cooperation of the uh, uh, manufacturers. And parenthetically, you have to realize the Russian Stalin saved the machine tool industry of the United States because Stalin was the only one buying any machine tools during the 30s. Hmm. But uh, what we I, just uh, February 1981, Harper's read that. But what I really wanted to get at was that you get what you subsidize, and sure. people don't understand in this country that the real harassment of women in this world and children is that we're spending a billion, or actually $2 billion a day burning children and women alive. Every single tax dollar that goes to the federal government goes to bombs and weapons. Well, not everyone, but about a quarter yes, of them. Yes, it does, because you got your $700 billion of taxes, and you've got your... $600 billion of uh, the cost of financing the national $20 billion worth of national debt. Mm -hmm. And they're making social, they combined the two trust funds, Social Security and Medicare, to pretend that was part of the budget so they can, so they can embezzle them in bombs. But the, you know, out of a two plus trillion dollar annual budget, 700, well, I, maybe it's a little less than $2 because I thought it was about half the budget, but it's $700 billion, isn't, isn't that the amount that is going to the Pentagon this year? Yeah, $700 billion, plus you have to add that all of the debt is from the unconstitutional wars. The, the, the interest on that debt is close to $600 billion, I think. Yeah, yeah. But you check it so out. So what's your Somebody solution for this, to Barbara? Get these figures straight. What's, what, what are you proposing we do about this? We start understanding that all governments are capitalist. And the thing that, you know the only time government tells the truth? They have to tell the truth. You know, you know the only time that any government in this country has to tell the truth? Is when? When they issue bond prospectus. All the people that c collect the debt. Oh yeah, debt, debt is Have absolutely to be told the truth. Yeah, debt is and absolutely the sacrosanct. That pays the debt. You can't even get a copy of the bond prospectus at any hearing at any government level. Interesting, Barbara. Thank you.